They said I'd never get to this point. But here I stand. They warned that success is unlikely, that victory is improbable, and maybe so. But if this was for everyone, I wouldn't want it. They pointed to their own limitations and proclaimed them to be mine. But that's the thing about limits. They'll exist wherever you place them, and I have placed mine behind me. See, human beings make things unnecessarily complicated. Instead of drawing a direct line from point A to point B, we create 100 reasons why it's too hard, too tough, we construct distractions. There is no hard, there is no easy. There is a goal, the price that must be paid, and the eyes observing from a distance, wondering just maybe if they could do the same. The saying goes that a wolf need not concern himself with the opinions of sheep, that those who watch and admire are often the first to throw stones, to criticize, to condemn. But listening to them contradicts the very thing that gives the wolf its power, its strength. His ascent is threatening, not because he is like everyone else, but because he dares to be different. There will be a point when the mountains tower over you, the oceans obstruct your way, and the masses tell you no. Perfect. Right now is not a decision that involves debate. This is no democracy. This is a promise unfolding before your very eyes. This is truth, the new reality. It's about embracing what makes you different, not hiding from it. I'm fighting for separation, walking into what most avoid in pursuit of a return that most can only dream of. And as far as I'm concerned, you can either do the same or spend your life criticizing and wishing that you did. Sheep stay within the confines of what they know. Angry at those who left, who wanted more, yet angrier at themselves for staying right where they are. This is all we get. One rodeo, one opportunity. So before you make your next move, look hard at your reflection and ask yourself, are you a wolf or a sheep? Live accordingly.